All right, guys, so here's today's project. This is the uh, entrance road that the trucks use. Um, as you can see, it's pretty sandy. It's gotten rained on recently, so it's not as bad as it usually is. But you can see that the, the dirt is starting to push out from the, from the big tires coming through. Um, we did put some clay on this a while back, but it's kind of turning sandy too. And we have an opportunity. We got this stuff. Uh, this is a clay mixed with aggregate, a lime rock, or dolomite. So it's got a bunch of rock in it and stuff. We're going to take this. And right down here where my truck is, where that pole is, there, there's some crushed concrete right there that's put in. And it's pretty hard on the, all the way on out. So we're going to start there and uh, come this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread it with a tractor. One, that's all I have here. And two, um, there's not, not as many people know how to spread dirt with a tractor as you would think. So I'm going to do it the hardest way I can. That way everybody can learn something. So I've got, that thing doesn't weigh anything. So basically I have nothing on the back of this thing. <clears throat> And then I got the front end loader. This is a 5075, but you can do this with any size tractor. You just gotta get smaller bite sizes. Um, it is four wheel drive. It is in four wheel drive and it will be. So if you've got a two wheel drive tractor, um, you need to get smaller bites and I would highly recommend putting something on the back. I would highly recommend putting something on the back regardless. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. But yeah, I would I would highly recommend, even if you have a four wheel drive, you know, this is a heavy tractor. There's water in the rear wheels and there's water in the front wheels, but you need something on the back. Um, I'm gonna do it without it today just to show you that it can be done, but I would highly recommend it. I'm telling you as a safety factor, put something on the back and that's just my spiel. Also, keep your hand on that control when you're doing this especially if you don't have anything but anytime anytime you're picking up or pushing or whatever you're doing with that front bucket keep your hand on that control because that if that machine tries to tip one way or the other you need to put put all your pressure down that's the first thing you do um we do this kind of stuff all the time so it's not that big of a deal for us but uh this could be a, a good learning experience because the way i see it there's there's two types of tractor operators. There's the guys that have a tractor and they're like, well, and we deliver dirt to the people all the time. And they're like, well, all I got's a tractor. And then, so they, they're not confident to spread a load of dirt or two, this one's got a bunch of asphalt in it, but two loads or one load with a tractor. So the other type of person is, hey, I got a tractor. I can spread it. So what we want is to see y'all become the, hey, I got a tractor, I can do it, guys. Now, you need to practice. Um, don't just think that you're gonna do it all at once and it's gonna be beautiful. I mean, even, even me doing this, I've done this a long time. I'm still probably gonna come back and drag over this with a box blade later on. I'm sure I won't get it as pretty as I want, especially with this asphalt in here. But I wanna show y'all that it can be done. Now this asphalt, I'm gonna put it in It'll bridge this sand. Um, any of it that sticks up at the end or whatever, I'll pick up. If it lays flat, good for it, and it can stay. Um, I'm eventually gonna cap this entire road with aggregate, so it's not that big of a deal for me. All right, guys, so I got the tractor running, warming up. Uh, one thing I like to do before I get started is I'm gonna look at my bucket. <clears throat> And make sure it's flat. And I can do that. Something walking up here. I'll show you a trick to it in a minute. But see, that's not even flat. If you see this, now not every tractor is the same. Let me get that out of the way. But you see this flat piece on the top right here. A rule of thumb is if you get that level with the ground you're on, that bucket, that, that cutting edge on the bucket will be cut pretty much flat. It's not gonna be perfect, you may have to adjust it depending on your type of material, 
down a little bit to make a cut or up a little bit to keep it from cutting so much. If you're in, if you're in cl hard clay, you want to tilt that down just a little bit. Um, don't tilt it down too much or you'll start digging holes. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll make some mistakes out here and fill them in. That way you can see how to do it and all that good stuff. But I need to tilt that down just a little bit. That looks pretty good there. Um, that'll work for what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to mess with that a whole lot. Um, I'm going to pretty much leave it like that. And you can do this off the seat of the tractor once you get comfortable. But a lot of times when you're first starting out, you won't know exactly where that needs to go. So just get off the tractor for a minute, look at it, figure out what you're going to do. And uh, I'll show you all the next trick. All right, so I did make one pass. I just pushed some out right there. Um, I did have to adjust my bucket a little bit. Like I said, I'm working in sand, so it did try to cut in a little bit. But that's not a big deal. I just rolled it back just a hair, and uh, we're good to go. Now, this trick right here is in, in very important. So you see I got a front bucket full of dirt, all right? And the initial reaction is to go out here, dump it out, get you another one, dump it out, dump it out, dump it out, and then back drag it or push it out, whatever you're going to do. But if you got your pile sitting in the right spot, you don't need to do that. Because this will be a lot more efficient just to leave that bucket full of dirt. Don't dump it out. And just push. You see, I'm getting uh, a little more than a quarter of a bucket. And my tractor will push that fine. If you got a smaller tractor, get a little bit less. Yeah, it's going to take you time. But, you know, if, if ideal conditions were met, I'd have a bulldozer sitting here to spread that. But I don't. So we're going to use a tractor. So I'll go through this pile. I'll get it cut on back some. Now this one is sitting kind of in the edge of the woods right here. And I don't want to trample all this stuff. So I'm going to cut it back. Yeah, probably halfway or so. And then I'll reach over here and start pulling some in. And then now for that, I will change the angle of my bucket. But I'll start pulling that in and pushing it just like that again. Another thing, when you push that out, so I push this out and then I set my bucket back down and I just drug it back, okay? That cutting edge should be touching the ground and it'll give you a, try to keep your surfaces as flat as you can while you're working. And you, you really need to start off with something flat. I don't have anything flat cut out yet, but when you start off with something, that bucket will follow it. So keep your, keep your material flat too. I got a little pile right there. I ain't worried about that. I'm gonna push over it in a minute anyway. But all right. I'm going to get after it. I'm going to turn this other camera on so y'all can get the third person to view.
All right, so that pile is history. Um, I made it down here. There's a little sandy spot here. I got it filled in. Still got a little bit right here, but it'll be all right for right now. But yeah, went pretty good overall. I put just a slight little bit of crown in it. Um, that's that's hard to do with a tractor. You have to you have to get your tractor sitting the way you want it and then do it. And y'all look at my front bucket right here. It's bent, so there's no excuse, right? <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get started on this pile now. This one might be a little more tricky with all this asphalt and stuff in it, but uh, the good news is it's further out away from the, see that one was kind of in the woods. I didn't want to get in there. This one only has a, a little bit I can't really get to, but I'm gonna push this one that way. There's a pretty bad sand spot right up here towards that pipe. But uh, yep, I'm gonna get started. One more thing I forgot to mention. You don't see me tracking this in. One, because I got ag tires. They don't do a great job of tracking in. And two, I have a bunch of traffic that comes in and out of this, tr this road every day. Dump trucks and low boys and stuff like that. So I'll let them pack it. It's good enough they're not gonna get stuck on it. Um, and they'll pack it in real good. I may come out here and blade over it a little bit with a motor grader if it gets in a bind. But if you have industrial tires on your tractor, which I do not, you can walk this in and it'll do a better job of compacting it. But like I said, those ag tires are, they're actually made not to compact the soil too much. So I'm not gonna waste the diesel fuel. All right, well, that's, that's as good as I need it to be. Um, there's a few bigger chunks here and there. That asphalt did turn out to be a little more challenging to spread. Um, it wanted to drag holes as we went. You can see right here, it kind of drug. But overall, it's gonna work. Um, I'm gonna let them drive on it for a few days and then see what it looks like. But y'all uh, y'all leave some comments below if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, as, far as, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, that's the way to do it. I'm not, I'm not saying that's the only way to do it, but that's what works for me. And as you can see, we knocked it out pretty quick. So maybe y'all can go from a, all I got is a tractor guy to a, hey, I got a tractor, I can do it. So, but all right, if y'all like our stuff, subscribe to it. We're going to cut this video off right here.